Hey friends, I'm Father Ryan Adams, and I'm here today with Mrs. Kathy Lopez, who is going to be talking about her role as the chair of the Altar Guild here at St. Andrews, and also give you a little bit of history about the Altar Guild and tell you some information um, about how you could be involved in the Altar Guild here at St. Andrews or in your church. Well, the Altar Guild is a ministry of members of our church. Their duties, res uh, responsibilities are included in setting up the, uh, filling candles, setting up the altar so that it looks appropriate for the, for the priest. Also to provide all of the necessary materials, vessels, and, and wafers that, we, that Father Ryan needs for consecrating the Eucharist. Which includes wine when we do when we have wine, includes putting out wafers, includes getting everything ready for the acolyte. As seasons change in the church, the altar guild is responsible also for um, putting out different colors. If you go to an, a, an Advent season, you're in purple. You take then you go to the uh, normal season, ordinary season, and you're in green for a long time. But these are the things that Altar Guild members keep up with as we all have our calendars in front of us that tell us what colors are coming and, and what we should do with the materials. You're serving. You're serving the Lord and you're doing something to make the consecration of the communion a part of the service. Originally, altar guilds were predominantly male. The females were not allowed to work behind the altar, not welcomed at that time. But our altar guild at St. Andrew's Episcopal is male and female. It's uplifting, it really is. It's, it makes you feel, I know that when I take communion now, I feel so much a part of it because I knew I help set it up or my friends help set it up and you just it's a, it's more emotional I have been known to now cry during communion on occasion um, it, it, it's just a feeling of being a participant in the preparation of it I think one of the things that I like the most uh, is the is the um, the fact that I look and I got I put that there I did that and, and it just gives you a sense of in, a, a sense of involvement too, almost like you're an acolyte while you're in your seat. <laughs> you would get here and you would make sure that everything was addressed properly on the, what we call the credence table, where the acolyte will take things to bring to the priest. Um, there's a way to set it up so it's it's easy for the priest to have access to it. Um, we would check everything, make sure that there is there are wafers in place, make sure wine is there, make sure that everything, all the access to closets and everything is available. And then you would you would usually always get here about I was I get here 30 minutes early. You call the church at 850-763-7636 and you talk to Fran Tate and she, she will pass all the information on to me. Plus I'm here once a week working at the office. So you might even get me on the phone when you call. But we always look forward to having members. We support each other and if somebody's out of town, we all pull together and that's, you, you would never be without responsibility. 